of things I've seen in recovery or people in addiction or recovering from alcoholism that we think we're different. And I'm not even talking about early recovery. I'm just talking about in general that we may feel or we think we're different because I know I thought I was different when I came into recovery. I thought I was defective, different. I thought I felt my emotions different. I thought I couldn't handle life and that made me different. And just being an alcoholic made me different. And being an alcoholic is a little different than the other people. You know, not being able to, to drink alcohol is, is different. And drinking our lives into oblivious, oblivion that we, we destroyed our lives, that's different for sure. And having the disease of alcoholism makes us a little different, but it doesn't define us. It's like saying you have diabetes and you sit around talking about your diabetes and that defines who you are. Well, it doesn't, or you have cancer and it defines your life and who you are. It doesn't do that. It doesn't define those people. So why should the disease of alcoholism define who we are? But when it comes to our regular people, like normal people, normies, I hate using that word, there's no real difference. There really isn't. They feel the same emotions. They think the same. They can be wacko without the booze and being addictive too. They can be like that. They you know, have problems in their life. They go through divorce. They go through bankruptcy. They go through all these issues in life like we do. And if you have enough, enough recovery and you work your program and you're doing all you can, you will see what they say in the book, right? That the world, well, I don't know exactly what they say in the book. I shouldn't be quoting it. If you're thinking you're unique, you're not. You're not, you got a lot of issues to work out, but once all that settles down, we become basically like normal people, just regular people. I hate to take the air out of your balloon, but we are not that special, we aren't. We just have the disease of alcoholism and in the early sobriety, it can feel like we're much different because we suffer from the mental and emotional and spiritual torture can make us feel separated from the rest of our fellows. But you know, be grateful to be an alcoholic. Be grateful to have a program and have support and hang around like-minded people. Because a lot of us out there, a lot of us, a lot of other people, including my wife and my friends, they have to do it alone. They don't have that support that they can rely on to help them with their mental, emotional health, spiritual health. We do. We have tons of support and we have tons of people around us like-minded and we have a way of life that works for us one day at a time that we don't have to drink. And I tell you something, that's a miracle. So the only difference in my life now is that I don't drink or drug. That's the only difference. And the longer you don't drink and drug, you find a lot of people who are sort of normies that don't drink and drug either. There's a lot of us out there in programs and not in programs that don't use alcohol on a daily basis or maybe never use it, okay? So we're not, you know, we're not unique folks, okay? So thanks for stopping by. My name is Terry G. This is an Alcohol Free Life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. If you can take a second, please subscribe. Take another second and hit that like button, okay? Just remember, sobriety is freedom sobriety is freedom take it one day at a time and you are worth it you are worth your sobriety see you later ciao for now